President of the Medeng Indigenous Business Council, Stoti Kamya, says the national government needs to set up training facilities throughout PNG to educate locals on how to operate businesses. He says the plans and directives of the government are clear on driving the economy to the SMEs. PNG businessmen and women will still fail if little education and training is given to them on how to run their business. The biggest problem, the challenge that we have is um, uh, there's a huge gap in terms of business operation in, in SMEs bracket. Um, we have uh, um, Papua New Guinea businessmen and women trying to grow their business, trying to start a business, but the problem that we have is they don't know how to run the business. Meanwhile, the Medang Indigenous Business Council was formed in 2011 to protect the interests of the Papua New Guinean businessmen and women. The council organizes PNG businessmen and women to help them link up with markets, assist them with loan applications and training programs, among others. Training program especially, we have uh, conducted a lot of business training for our little SMEs, uh, Papua New Guinea businessmen and women, especially in Medang, those in the rural areas to know the principles of business, how to run business. The new seafood and butchery shop opened in town yesterday has also gone into agreement with the Medan Indigenous Business Council. The shop will only be selling local seafood and other animal meat bought directly from locals in the province, thus promoting local produce as well as give money back to the people. There's a potential in Medang. There's a kind of operation. Before I was I had no grassroots people from Kirapi in Medang. One can something all you got. Me buy me the long fish, one product, seafood, me buy me. Now, of Kumu, long ground, me too, me buy me. Me la have no Kumi long medang, me la kira pin medang. Masa Luis, National MTV News, medang.